Iowa takes us up to Salem, Massachusetts, uh, best known probably for the witch trials that took place here, but actually Salem is uh, much more important than that. Uh, they're most important because of the maritime history and what happened after the Boston Tea Party, King of England got very mad at us and decided to close the port of Boston and Salem became the main port in the country. So it was um, the sixth largest city in the country at that time. It was the richest per capita and um, there were actually so many ships from Salem at that time uh, for sailing to the Far East that they thought that Salem was a country all of its own. Uh, this period took place between 1780 and 1820 <clears throat> and uh, there were Salem Harbor itself was once much larger. There were about 46 wharves here, now there are only four and we're standing basically on two of them. In the background is the old custom house and because of Salem's maritime history that building once took in 10% of the federal budget. Its most famous occupant that worked there was Nathaniel Hawthorne and he worked as a custom surveyor between 1847 and 1850. On these wharfs, uh, what they've tried to do is reconstruct the historical period. Typically there would be an old ship here that's a replica of one of the ships that used to sail to the Far East. Unfortunately that is out of the water right now, uh, being repaired in preparation for its bicentennial celebration of the War of 1812 when it was actually destroyed. The, um, on one of the wharfs is an old storage house. It was not originally one of the houses that were here, but it was typical of what would have been on these wharfs at that time. That house uh, was a storage house at the, during that period that was once over in Marblehead, and they didn't want it anymore, so Salem bought it for a dollar and put it up here on these wharfs. The uh, behind this uh, house is a, actually it's uh, the skeleton or the spine of one of those ships that used to sail to the Far East. When we live here, when we leave here, we're going up to uh, the Witch Museum and that accurately portrays the, what happened here during the period of three months during 1692 when 19 innocent people were hanged and one was actually pressed to death. still more horrible deaths, and hundreds all over New England would be sent to jail, some for up to seven years, languishing forgotten, long after the obsession with witchcraft had died away.